Now here the question is, let the circle C1, C2 intersect at points X and Y and suppose that another circle X minus H square plus Y minus K square equals to R square satisfy the following conditions. Center of C3 is collinear with centers of C1 and C2. C1 and C2 both lie inside C3 and C3 touches C1 at M and C2 at N. So basically we have two given circles and this first circle center at origin and radius 3 units this second circle with center at 3 comma 4 and radius 4 units So here this radius is 3 and this radius is 4 units and distance between center is 5. So basically this angle is 90 degrees. Now it says we have another circle whose center is C3 which is collinear with centers of C1 and C2 and C1 and C2 both lie inside C3 and it touches them at M and N. So we have this circle which is going to contain both the circles and which is going to touch both of them at M and N. So this point is M and this point is N. Now we know that this distance is 5, this is 3 and this is 4. So radius of this bigger circle will be 6 unit. So radius of this larger circle it is 6 units. Now this is 2 and this is 3. So this C3 it divides origin and 3 comma 4 in the ratio 3 is to 2. So center of the circle C3 will be at 9 by 5 and 12 by 5. So for this third circle we have center and we also have its radius. Now it says a line through xy intersects C3 at z and w and let the common tangent of C1 and C3 be a tangent to parabola x square equals 8 alpha y. Now it also says these two circles they intersect at capital X and capital Y. So this is your x and this point it is your y. Now basically this x y it is common core of c1 and c2 and we know that common core is given by radical axis which is S1 minus S2. So this equation will be x square minus x minus 3 square plus y square minus y minus 4 square and that will be 9 minus 16. Now here x square will cancel. We will get this as 6x minus 9 plus 8y minus 16. And this is minus 7. Equation of x, y, it is given by 6x plus 8y. Now this is minus 9 plus 7 minus 2. So that will be minus 18 comma 0. And we can divide everything into 2. So this equation will be 3x plus 4y minus 9 equals 0. So this line x, y. Its equation is 3x plus 4y minus 9 equals to 0 and it's going to intersect this third circle at z and w. Now for this circle c3 we can find this ac3 which is perpendicular distance of this line 
from center of the circle. So this AC3 will be three into, and this center is at nine by five plus four into 12 by five minus nine upon under root of a square plus b square, which is five. Now this is 27 plus 48 minus 45. So there'll be 30, 30 by 25, which is simply six by five. So length of AC is six by five. And once we have this AC three, we can find length of AZ because this radius is six units. So this AZ will be under root of 36 minus 36 upon 25. So there'll be six to 24 upon five and ZW is two times of AZ. So ZW will be 12, 24, 24 root six by five. Now we also have to find X, Y. Now for X, Y, we will find this distance OA and we know that OA, it will be zero plus zero, nine. So this is nine by five and this X, Y will be two times under root of this nine minus 81 by 25. So this is 225 minus 81, 144. So there'll be 24 upon five. Now we can start solving these questions. Now first is the value of two H plus K. Now H and K, they are center of the C3. So basically H is nine by five and K is 12 by 5. So 2h plus k is 18 plus 12, 30. 30 by 5 is 6. So 2h plus k is 6. So this first, it matches with P. Now second one is length of ZW upon length of XY. Now length of ZW is 24 root 6 by 5. And length of xy is 24 by 5. So this is equal to root 6. So that means this second, it matches with q. Now third one is area of triangle mzn. Area of triangle mzn, this triangle will be 1 by 2, 1 by 2 base into height. So this area, it will be 1 by 2. Now base here is mn. And MN is 12 into AZ. AZ is half of ZW and that will be 12 root 6 by 5 divided by area of triangle ZMW. Area of triangle ZMW, this triangle. And here, this is your base and that's your height. So this area will be this 1 by 2 basis ZW, which is 24 root 6 by 5 into this am now oa is 9 by 5 and this is 3 so it will be this 9 by 5 plus 3 15 plus 9 is 24 so it will be this 24 by 5 now this is 12 root 6 by 5 it will cancel now this is 2 so this value is 5 by 4 so this third, it matches with R. Now fourth one, we have to find alpha and it says, a line through X, Y intersect C3, let a common tangent of C1 and C3 be tangent to this parabola. Now this is C3 and this is C1. So their common tangent will be this line. Now these C3 and C1, they touch each other internally. So they'll have only one common tangent. Now for this, what we'll do is we'll first find the coordinate of M. Now basically origin is midpoint of M and C3. So basically 
coordinate of this point m will be simply minus 9 by 5 and minus 12 by 5. And we can also find slope of this line. Now slope of this line is 4 by 3. Then slope of this other line will be minus 3 by 4. So equation of this common tangent will be y plus 12 by 5 and will be equal to minus 3 by 4 into x plus 9 by 5. Now this is now this is 4 into 5 by plus 12 and that will be equal to minus 3 into 5x plus 9. So its equation will be given by 15x plus 20y. Now this is 48 plus 27 plus 75 equals 0 or 3x plus 4y plus 15 equals 0. Now this line it is tangent to this parabola x square equals 8 alpha y. Now for this parabola equation of tangent is given by y equals mx minus am square and a in this case is 2 alpha so it will be 2 alpha m square. So if we express this equation then it will be this y equals minus 3 by 4x minus 15 by 4. So if we equate the two equations we we'll get minus 2 alpha and m square is 9 by 16 and a b equal to minus 15 by 4. Now this minus minus will cancel. Now this is 4, this is 2 and this is 2 and this is 5. So we we'll get 3 alpha is 10 or value of alpha is 10 by 3. So basically this fourth will match with u. Now which of the following is the only correct combination? Second t, 1u, second q. So this is your option d. And which of the following is the only incorrect? Fourth s, so this a. 3r, 4u and 1p. So the correct options are b and a.